What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to another one take review. This is my review, my hot, long, long anticipated review of uh, Black Panther. And uh, I'm gonna do what most people don't do, and I'm probably gonna get into like the negatives first because let, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, and a lot of people have got like a lot of backlash when they, they say anything negative about Black Panther. I think I, I think uh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's funny too. Oh, I don't give a damn. I don't give a, uh, I'm, I'm gonna speak my mind and say what I got to say. Uh, for me, uh, I feel like Marvel blew the ending. I don't feel like it's just necessarily Ryan Coogler. I feel like they kind of blew not the ending, but they blew like the end. Also, the post credit post credit scene. Post credit scenes were kind of underwhelming. The first one probably could have went just into the movie, and the second one, I was like, ah, I, I, that really wasn't a big deal for me. Uh, thank now I think we got the negatives out the way. If I'm just being honest, I was, okay. Another thing, I kind of wish, I kind of wish we got more from Chad with Bozeman character. Uh, it seemed this movie seemed like a real big ensemble piece. I feel like they they gave him a character arc and they gave him a great arc for the movie, but I still kind of. I guess I wanted more. Maybe this movie could this movie could have been about fifteen minutes longer, not to necessarily flush out certain characters, but I think it would have done it more. If we'd have if we spent a little bit more time because I feel like time was spent with these uh, these characters, but I don't think enough necessarily. And I kind of want to see Wakanda more. I, thought, I know a lot of people said they love the way how Wakanda looking at it. They feel like you got brought into the world, but I kind of feel like I wanted to see a little bit more from Wakanda. Uh, and that's the issue. Oh, here we go. The sun is joining us today. How you doing, brother? Get back behind the clouds for a minute. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's probably my only complaints. And let me get into what I loved about this movie because it's pretty much, to me, in all honesty, it's, it's a lot to love about this movie. With the, the the message, the, the representation that we've been waiting for for years, uh, and, and just the overall, the overall movie is it's just a good movie just to watch. Uh, Chadwick Boseman prizes his role as uh t'challa and he does a great job this movie pretty much picks up right like i think maybe a week after civil war and i also had some questions about that because when we see this movie it's when we at the end of civil war the post credit scene they were already in wakanda and that's when they were taking buggy bucky but in this one it's, they're arriving into wakanda and it's like he haven't been there yet so that's kind of was I, I don't know exactly how that works or how it worked uh exactly what was the deal with that because like i said it kind of feels like it picks up right after civil war but at the post credit scene the civil war cap was there and they were putting bucky into like the little sleep but in the beginning of this movie uh, we're just getting into wakanda you know what i'm saying so i kind of wonder exactly what was the deal with that uh unless that took place during the movie and we we just don't know uh I, I, I don't know yeah that was that was not not an issue but it was just i, I was wondering uh but yeah chadwick boseman as uh black panther is, is a great great protagonist uh lapita uh lapita Nyanga, uh as uh, uh nakia that that she's pretty much like the love interest in this thing and you, you pretty much connect with that you you see that love from the very beginning of the this movie like within the first five ten minutes you, you you can tell like it's there you know what i'm saying i kind of wonder how they're gonna do it if they bring storm into the mcu because don't get me wrong the peter Nyanga, i love you as nakia but i kind of want to see t'challa and storm <laughs> t'challa in the world i, I, I got to see that uh I, I, I was watching an interview yesterday with chadwick bozeman on uh, breakfast club and he was talking about how she said she turned into a villain if Storm was ever brought into the MCU and they and they used that storyline. But hey, you might as well get ready to be turned to the villain because who doesn't want to see Black Panther and Storm? But uh, yeah. Also, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm probably gonna go through like the main. Uh, I can't think of her name, but the girl who plays Shuri, to, I I just cannot think of her name. I literally just got through looking at it. I'm no, you guys know I'm horrible with names. She does a phenomenal job as Shuri, and to me, she's probably one of my favorite characters this entire movie. Because the comedy she used, the comedy they used with her was so authentic. You know what I'm saying? It didn't seem like she was she wasn't telling really jokes. She was just saying stuff in the situation of things. You know what I'm saying? And it worked so well because I don't know. She, she seemed like a not breath of fresh air, but she just seemed like somebody who has like this aura to her, like just 
you get around and you just automatically start to feel good. Uh, every time you saw her, you just saw a big smile on your face. But there was a moment where she had to go deeper into her character where she showed fear or, or sadness. And she did that well uh, also. So I really commend her on that. Uh, they, they just, they did black women so right in this movie. So, I mean, so, so right. Uh, uh, then, J J Danae Guerrero, I, she plays the lieutenant who is a, a fucking badass and she 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 with all that gangster shit bro she with all that gangster her character is is like the alpha uh it's like the is it alpha male alpha female i, I think that's what you call it, alpha female either way it goes but she she's so dominant and her presence along with her and uh, i don't know that is exactly the 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 women name uh, because listen, I'm, I haven't read any Black Panther comics. I'm not finna lie to y'all. Like I read Black Panther comics. I just started reading comics a couple years ago, and it's a DC head. So uh, you gotta forgive me. But the uh, the the women, you know, the women with the spears and the red. You know what I'm saying? All of them. That that that's. I just it just looks great. You know what I'm saying? Because the representation they 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 get for those women to make those women look so strong and, and on par, or even above the men. It's, it's a really dope uh, element. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya's character, who I didn't think when I saw him in the uh, in the trailers and stuff, I didn't think he was gonna have a big role, but he plays a much bigger role in this movie than I thought he would. Uh, Forrest Whitaker's character, Zero, all these characters in, that you see in the trailer, they all have kind of like mini arcs, and they all give them enough screen time to where you care about their characters, or you understand their motives, or you understand where they're coming from, you, you you understand everything about them without having the movie having to be centralized or focused on them. I thought that was a great job to do the way you can have all these ensembles characters and you get every single you get the personality of each and every single one of them. uh i want to angela bassett as his mother was another great one i thought i thought it was great like the, the the acting in this thing was like great ryan coogler does a phenomenal i want to say i have to say it again ryan coogler is a fucking beast and, and he's three for three right now I, i'm looking forward to anything else he puts out uh J.K. Rollins, I, he has a small part in it, but it, it has so much meaning to it. Um, 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 uh, somebody, okay, now let me get into, basically the story is like, it, it's, it's, it's about like a T'Challa coming back to become king and having to deal with, you know what I'm saying, the issues of the world and how Wakanda, how it affects Wakanda and how Wakanda wants to, to move forward. As, 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 and it also deals with like things from the past, from previous kings, you know what I'm saying, De putting with their weight on your shoulders, you know what I'm saying, the things they did, the secrets they had, coming back to hunt you, you know what I'm saying, it come, it's coming back to hunt the whole entire nation of Wakanda, but that's great. Also, another character that was absolutely phenomenal, the guy who played uh, M'Baku, the, 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 he, he when he challenged for the throne it's, it's just all oh, so dope the way they do it to where you get the rituals and the 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 the, the, the ceremonies and the things they have to do in wakanda in order for somebody to be king and, and when you, you see you fear your your protagonist is at a low point that's kind of something i want to see a little bit more i want to see more of t'challa i like his lowest i don't feel like we explored that enough I feel like it was he was it was here, he was low, and then it, it automatically started to rise a little bit. That's probably say another issue with it is uh, the action set piece. I didn't like the action set piece in the casino. Uh, I think on the Guerrero, uh, Guerre, the, 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 the spirit lady, her fuck. I can't remember these people's names. I wish I had like a board or something with like everybody's name and picture beside it. So it'd be easier, but that's not real. Y'all know I'm horrible with names, so I would just be fake. <laughs> so the 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 casino scene really wasn't like that great to me. I didn't really like the action. The car chase scene, I enjoyed that. The the final fight scene, I really really enjoyed that last set piece. I didn't based on since the fact that uh uh Ryan Coogler had shot probably my favorite fight scene of all time in any movie or probably one of my favorite scenes in any movie is the one sh uh, the one take scene with Michael B. Jordan and Creed I wanted kind of something like that I, I don't think we, we got it necessarily sometimes also sometimes the CGI I ain't gonna say it was all but you could just tell it was like CG uh, as far as like the, the, the battle between the Black Panthers um, let's get into the villains 
Somebody I, I don't hear enough people talking about is Andy Serkis' character. Andy Serkis is probably the most animated character in this movie, but it works perfectly. Like, it couldn't work any better. Like, it, it's so downplayed, but it works on so many different levels. Like, he, he's like the one character that... I, it, it, I'll say it, he's the one character that sticks out in, in the scenes to like, oh, dude, you're in a, like, like, dude, you're in a different movie. But most times, if not all the time, that would be a bad thing. But for this movie, it works 100%. And you like his character, of Claw. Like you, you, you even get some of his backstory. You get to see what he's doing and how he's orchestrating things and how he's running things. It works so perfectly. And let's just talk about the the the. the thing you going the person you're gonna hear about nonstop and that's Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan as Eric Kilmark is, is great. And and when I before he even spoke, I'm wondering like I had in my mind like this is how he's gonna sound. This might be what he does. I was wrong. I'm happy I was wrong because I forget that he's American. He's he didn't grow up in what he doesn't he doesn't grow up in Wakanda so you, he has the American slang, American tone, the way he talks, and everything. You, you get like, okay, this is, this is who this guy is. This is I understand why he, he cracks these little, these little jokes the way he he he, he talks like he's seen some shit. Because if I'm being honest, he's probably my favorite favorite character in this movie, and I agree with him more than I do with uh, T'Challa. I get what the child is coming from because it's, I'm, I'm an introvert, so I kind of like, yo, I'm going to handle my business over here. But it's like this whole thing of like, what should Wakanda do or, or you know, the people of Wakanda do? And, and like, you have Michael B. George's character who's been out in the world his whole life. You know what I'm saying? So he's seen like all the shit that goes down. He's seen like what people's done. And, and, and Tatal has been in Wakanda his whole life. So you have two different things. You, you I think more people would connect with. Uh, Michael B. Jordan's character than T'Challa's, not because T'Challa's. It just, it just from for who we are, we would connect more with him. I, I, I know I do. Uh, that's why I thought it, he was a great villain. His motives were clear. His backstory was clear. Everything you got, so you you rock with what he's doing. I don't even know how long this review is. I thought it was gonna be like five, ten minute review. I'm pretty sure I don't went over that by now. But like you, you rock with his, and he's a villain. I. I kind of want them to see, a kid, see him kill a few more people, I'm, if I'm just being honest. There was one kill, though, he had that I absolutely loved. And, and you guys might know that. You might know what I'm talking about. It was a kill that happened kind of towards uh, the end of the movie that I, I wholeheartedly enjoyed because it, it just showed how cold he was and how he, he just didn't give a fuck. But he still had purpose and he had motives. He, he wasn't just doing shit for the hell of it. He just didn't want to just... To just do shit just because he did it. He had reasoning behind everything he done, and I understood his reasoning. Now, you might not understand, you might not agree with his methods, but you understand his reasoning. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's two different things. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Black Panther is, is, is a, it's a film you guys definitely should check out. Uh, it wasn't perfect for me. I, the hype was, I think the hype for it was so damn high that. I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. But I still thought it was a great film, and I and I and I really liked it. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to see it again. Uh, I, the flaws are so small to me that it, 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 I still can't take anything away from it. But you know, if if we're at the Olympics, which my reviews are, and if I'm reviewing this thing, it gets a silver medal. It doesn't quite get the gold medal, you know, but it gets a silver. I, I give it that. Uh, after after a few other viewers, he may go on here and get that gold. Uh, I just kind of feel like my my main protagonist. I didn't get enough from him, and I and I, st and I started caring about the villain a little bit more. If that's what you actually call him, I could be joining as a villain. I don't know. Uh, but this is definitely the one thing I would have to say. This is a standalone film. It, it you don't have to see any of the other movies that that came before it. Uh, you 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 can watch this 
completely by itself and don't care about it. It really doesn't just necessarily tie into to other films. Like, that's one thing I do like about it. It's a, it's a standalone film that doesn't rely on anything that came before and because they have a little section in the beginning that, that, that talks about the stuff from Civil War and that's all you really need to know. You don't need to know pretty much about like the whole nothing that happened there. You know what I'm saying? You get this and, 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 and it's, it's, it's on its own. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Ryan Coogler, he does a great job. Marvel, you do it again. You, you, you win again. Uh, thank you guys for watching this review, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch up with you guys later. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Do all that good stuff for me. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below your thoughts. Do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree? Let me know, man. I'll catch up with you guys later.